as a disciple of Prophet T.B. Joshua for 17 years, from 2004 to his passing in 2021, I want to emphasize that my personal experiences do not correlate with any of the allegations in this documentary. The men of God, Evangelis Kreis, a spiritual son of Senior Prophet Tibi Joshua, gave his powerful statement as regarding the documentary of BBC. Grace and peace to you all in Jesus' mighty name. After much prayer and reflection, I want to share with you all a short statement in relation to the documentary on BBC regarding my mentor, Prophet T.B. Joshua. Remember first that salvation is personal. As the scripture says in Revelation 3 verse 20, Philippians 2 verse 12, and John 3 verse 16. As a disciple of Prophet T.B. Joshua for 17 years, from 2004 to his passing in 2021, I want to emphasize that my personal experiences do not correlate with any of the allegations in this documentary. I personally witnessed both the fruits of the Holy Spirit in Galatians 5 verse 22 to 23 and the gifts of the Holy Spirit, 1 Corinthians 12 verse 7 to 11, in the life of Prophet T.B. Joshua. And I saw the, the name of Jesus Christ consistently glorified and the truth of God's word consistently preached. Now I have a word of advice for believers. As Christians, we must be careful not to shift our attention, our focus from the spiritual to the natural and get distracted from the Great Commission. Please see Mark chapter 16 from verses 15 to 18, Galatians 3 verse 3, and 1 Corinthians 2 verse 14. Disciples of Jesus Christ must remain focused on doing what God has called us to do, preaching the good news to a troubled world. Remember what Hebrews chapter 13 verse 8 says, Jesus Christ is the same yesterday, today, and forever. His power to heal the sick has not changed. His power to deliver the oppressed has not changed. His power to restore broken hearts has not changed. His power to save the lost has not changed. And faith in his mighty name still works wonders today. Acts chapter 3 verse 16, Philippians chapter 2 verses 9 to 11. Let us continue to fix our eyes on Jesus Christ, the author and the finisher of our faith, as Hebrews 12 verse 1 says, and let us continue to love everyone and trust only God. God bless you all and remember, it is all about Jesus. The men of God, evangelists, 
Chris, a spiritual son of senior prophet to be Joshua, gave his powerful statement as regarding the documentary of BBC concerning the man of God, senior prophet to be Joshua. Opening the video, he said, we should take note that salvation is personal. And as children of God, we shouldn't shift our attention from the spiritual to the physical. Brothers and sisters, children of God, we should know we live, live in the world, but we don't belong to the world. Our heritage is that of the Lord, and that is where we belong. Our being is in Him. The man of God, Evangelist Christ, said, and he emphasized that as a disciple and a spiritual son of senior prophet T.B. Joshua, of which he has been since 2004 to 2021, where the man of God, senior prophet T.B. Joshua, passed on to glory, his personal experience does not tie with that of the BBC. The man of God continued, he said as believers, children of God, disciples of Jesus Christ, we have a great commission ahead of us and therefore we should not be distracted by satanic plots and demonic allegations for me left to right. For we are in the world and these are what we will constantly see or hear. Remember, you are sons and daughters of the kingdom, for that is who you are. He insists and emphasized that from his personal experience, he has seen consistent the fruit of the Spirit and the gospel of Jesus Christ being preached and that of the good news of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. The man of God gave a solid advice that we should continue to love everyone but trust only God. Remember, the Bible says, For the thief cometh to steal, to kill, and to destroy, but I, our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ, has come to give life and life in abundance. For the life in abundance comes only from above, our Master Jesus Christ. As we abide in his love, let us be guided by his word. Amen. Please don't forget to hit the subscribe button as a way to support the channel. We are grateful for all your efforts.